Here I want to show you uh, my work in the process. I didn't open the camera. I was busy. Uh, didn't um, thinking. Uh, I didn't think that I will succeed. So here I want to show you the apron uh, that I did with the French seam. I still need to do the hamming. Still need to attach the stripes in the neckline and around the waist. Um, here uh, I use, and I cut the corners, I use the salvage and I didn't cut the salvage. This is how I'm preventing myself from doing another stitch. So here I have stripes, this goes around the body and I will need to connect them after. I'm going to do the hemming all around. Plus I, uh, I need to do the hemming on the bottom. I did use iron. Um, and here I want to concentrate on the uh, fabric itself. I had uh, damaged fabric and I had some stains on the fabric. New fabric, but I had some stains and uh, I will tell you about the pocket, how uh, and what. But first I want to show you what I did with the stain. Here I have a stain, original stain that was from tape. Probably this fabric was laying around for a while and been taped. Here I took a child pants and open in seam and use the pocket. I want to show you here the French dart that I use in this uh, apron. And um, it gives, um, you know, the figure look nice. Um, when I open the <clears throat> part of the pants, and uh, I cut the <coughs> part of it and I want to use and uh, use one pocket and I have another pocket that I created. It's good, this apron good, really good for um, in uh, uh, cooks or waitresses or waiter, you know, so you can use double pocket, small pocket for, big pocket for, uh, you know, for uh, notes and small pockets for small things. I want to show you the pants, what I did. Here's the child pants. And those that watching me, you know I love upcycle. So this is my way to upcycle and don't let things go to waste. Well, camera doesn't catch the <clears throat> size, but it's not important. Important that I could use and I can give second life to the things that laying around. Now I want to go and you see the pens, you see the piece, you see the way that it's being cut and I just straighten up, fold it, I did open in seam, so I want to preserve all the uh, stitches because originality of the stitches, this is what it's wonderful. So it gives me a lot, you know, here on that side they don't have a pocket, but on the other they were. So I want to use it. Look how beautiful I work. And uh, you have a big pocket and you have a small pocket here for change, for tips or anything else. And the bigger pocket for a notebook and everything else that you can think of. And here you go. So I didn't remove anything. This is the way that it was. It wasn't Velcro here, so I didn't make one. It's closed nice. It does uh, look nice. So, um, well, it fits. So the colors are, you can mingle a little bit. And even if it's different color, it doesn't, you know, affect the look of the uh, this apron. But what is special about it, it goes around the body and it goes in the back and you can tie it and it hangs himself nicely. Really, really, I love it. I didn't expect that it came out so good and I tried on my body and it feels really comfortable. So here I am showing you how I am finishing almost the work. Yes. Yes, finishing almost the work and here I'm going to continue working and uh, the hemming and the stripes. 
and I will use again the iron because iron need to be used. Uh, the main fabric was new, but uh, the pockets was reused, upcycled. And this is what I like. Here you go, still I use iron before I'm going to go under the machine and do the stitch, the straight stitch. And uh, then uh, I can give another iron press. And here you go. This is I'm showing you on the mannequin. This is the back. This is the way that it's been tied. And it's so comfortable. You can't imagine it hugs me well, the skirt itself. And you see the French seam, yes beautiful i did the hemming three and a half a length of stitch so here the pocket and when i tie it i put the stripes inside the pocket because they were hanging there and they were on my way to showing all the beauty of the creation that i did uh, here i'm trying to show you that it hangs nice it stays nice on the body it looks really comfortable and this French seam look uh, gorgeous because it gives me the my figure shape and body shape here I tied it in the back I did use the iron already they I'm going to rephrase myself I did use the apron already and I did cut the stripes they were too long my body is small, so I am not a big lady, and uh, I didn't need such a wide uh, stripes, but you can use it on many sizes, so there is no size to it. It's only the idea to it that you can create such a beautiful piece. And of course, I'm going to use in my kitchen. And of course, I'm going to use in my, uh, um, you know, studio to do the sewing because all the threads can stick to it. And I don't need to be worried about my very nice outfit and, um, you know, mm -hmm, worried about all of those left threads that will stick to the garments. So here you go. I hope that you like my idea. I hope that you like this video. I hope I give you some inspiration that you can continue and do the sewing. Well, write me comments below. Ask me questions. Don't forget that I need your likes. Please, it doesn't cost you anything. Here you go. But for me, you will support me. And of course, I see you next time. Bye.